Welcome back to another Hero's Journey. In this one, we're actually uh, doing another little wetsuit review. Can you believe it? We are wearing the 5.4 Hyper Freak in sunny San Diego. I have this Hyper Freak 5.4 Plus because I have some potential trips in very cold waters and I just have always wanted a good 5.4 to have in the mix. They're always too thick and just the hood always sucks and etc. So, you know what I said, screw it. O'Neill, here's another gabillion dollars for you and I wanna try another one of your best wetsuits ever, the Hyper Freaks. But, you know, here's the real question. Is the hood gonna suck or is the hood gonna be good? And is it gonna be like mega stiff because it's a 5.4 or is it gonna be kind of nice because it's that Hyper Freak Tecto Butter 3? Also, is the wetsuit going to be stiffer or looser than my Techno Butter 4 Blueprint 4.3 Plus? Because the Techno Butter 4 material does seem stiffer. So I wonder if, if you just go thicker, but Techno Butter 3, is that actually a better option or the stiffer yet thinner material? So, yes, many of first world problems and many a surf centric problems. So we have to come to these conclusions and I'll be the uh, the tester. My bank account and my body will test and review and see for those views and likes. So, all right, let's do this. All right, y'all, unfortunately we pulled up and the waves aren't that great, but growing up on the East Coast, I know that there were many a days when the waves were very bad, near dead flat, but that was the majority of the days. I've seen a lot worse, so we're gonna continue on with this 5-4 testing review. We're all suited up feeling pretty good. It's actually feeling a little less restrictive than the 4.3 Blueprint with the TB4, so we'll see. Will this be a great addition or will this be a $400 regret? Stay tuned. guys i'm gonna say a successful mission but it went really good and uh, overall great success we're all dried off we're all warm the wetsuit overall performed really good i probably exceeded my expectations a little bit just to start it's uh definitely feels stretchier than the 4.3 blueprint so unfortunately techno butter 4 i need to keep wearing you down to hopefully fit properly but it seems to me that uh, O'Neill has taken Techno Butter and stiffened it up, made it more durable to last longer, but it could be at the loss of flexibility. So only time will tell there. 
Also, the hood overall works really great. I'm learning that with hoods, when it's the water's cold, really right under the lips, above the chin, is really what you need to keep water from going inside of your hood. This is because even when it's under your chin, if it's tight, it can still slide in there. When it's under your lips, above your chin, it's a lot harder for it to kind of travel in there. There's also a couple techniques. When you duck dive, have your head kind of down, the little bill will rush over it. Also turning your head to the side a little bit and putting your head down towards your toes, it'll kind of rush over and not spew into your hood. So that's the real trouble with hoods is you need them super tight, but when they're really tight, then they can kind of give you a headache or be a nuisance or kind of hurt. So far still, I haven't found a hood that I really love. The hoods on the Hyper Freaks are my best bet. I've probably tried six, seven, eight other versions. Um, I haven't found one that works as good and, and gives less of a headache and actually does what a hood is supposed to do as much on these Hyper Freaks. I can tell with the 5.4, it really is like the best hood attachment you could have because once you get to the 5.4 territory, it's so freaking uh, just tight wetsuits that this 5.4 Hyper Freak is very impressive how loose, is it, how loose it is, how flexible it is. Again, it it could have been a 4.3 and I wouldn't have even known. So, And I really wasn't even like terribly hot. It actually was amazing because it was pretty windy out there and it was a lot of duck diving. It, somehow the waves were actually pretty good and it was a bunch of death paddles. For some reason uh, lately with the new 7.0 Seaside and when I film and make videos, the ocean decides it's death paddle day and I have flashbacks to Tugan uh, on the Gold Coast of Australia, Miami Beach, Australia, where it's just this huge beach break area, similar to probably Ocean Beach uh, in San Francisco, where it's just death paddle alley and you're just, you're living death paddle life and it's not very fun. So when the water's cold, that's when a hood really does excel because you're constantly duck diving. And that's where, when it fits good, it actually excels as well too, because when hoods don't fit properly, it's almost worse than not even having a hood because water shoots in. And then for me, it kind of gets trapped like over my ears. And then it almost creates more of a swimmer's ear effect, which is you're kind of wearing the hood to minimize swimmer's ear and for warmth. So when you're, you know, when your best intentions are ending up screwing you, it's no bueno and you, it can be frustrating. So the hood is a, is a very technically hard piece of kit to please everyone in the surf world. I mean, I'm at the point now where I probably even pref prefer like gloves over hood, even though I never wear gloves until it's, you know, upper 40s, low 50s if necessary. And they still kind of suck, but the hood is really, for me, it's just a, a very tough piece of kit to kind of like, I want to be a hood guy so bad. Like I love want the warmth of the hood, I really like. There's always some pressure right here on this big chin, this Chad chin that I got to deal with. And it just is what it is. So hopefully if I keep stretching out, I've been kind of stretching out the Hyper Freaks 4.3 in this 5.4, just like with like a bunch of stuff in the hood when it's hanging, just to give a little bit of leeway. Because with these hoods too, you do want a way to tighten them. Because I've tried a few other hoods now where I purposely got them a little big and then I realized, well, now it's too big and now water is just pumping in. So it's a tough, it's a tough battle. Now when you have a uh, neck, you know, your wetsuit neck can usually do pretty well with um, like keeping out water. Why can't they make a hood that can keep out water but be like a wetsuit neck where it's still comfortable? I do not know. If someone can get on this, you'll be the champion. So overall, the 5.4 Hyper Freak, I would say is the go-to for 5.4s. I mean, if you're surfing maybe mid 40s, upper 40s and below, maybe you need like a, a psycho, like a little bit more with a smooth skin. Um, one other tiny tidbit on the Hyper Freaks. And if I think O'Neill does this on purpose because if this was fixed, everyone would just buy Hyper Freaks. On the wrists, and the legs on the ankles, they don't have like a, like a proper kind of like seal, like in some of their other high end wetsuits. So what happens is a little bit of water likes to shoot in the arms, especially. 
and like in one tiny area and it's just kind of just like shooting every now and then so if you're surfing like super duper cold water that would never be fun i was so warm out there i haven't been this warm surfing in a while in super cold water where it's kind of nice how almost i was so warm even duck diving the water wasn't making my face cold and when it would shoot in my arms and my legs every now and then it wasn't even cold because my body was so warm so that was pretty sweet so you know it could be a little life hack throw on the old 5.4 and mid 50s and it feels like you're in a hot tub so that part was pretty cool but you know if they had the super seal wrists on these these hyper freaks i mean you wouldn't even have to buy another suit ever it'd be like hands down the best suit in the world supposedly there's these little wrists uh like rubber bands that you can buy that people use in like super duper cold water when you don't even want like a trickle getting in so i might have to look into those these little like wrist rubber bands i think they're actually made for surfing so could be a little little hot tip but um you have the Hyper Freaks, if this 5.4 had like the Super Seal wrists or some kind of wrist ankle closure system that didn't let in water as much, then I could definitely recommend it for like any, any cold ever. But if you're in like the super duper cold, that's when you might need a 6.5, which they don't have in these Hyper Freaks or like the Psycho or something. And then I think the attached hood really does perform the best when it's like the super duper cold because it, it just uh, like, leaks in water the least and when you actually can tighten it it's just the best system um but the hyper freak's so stretchy where you're not really getting that similar neck pain you can get with other suits because there is some resistance with the suit attachment so there's a a vest hood you can also wear under a 4.3 for instance that could work well i have the o'neill vest hood and for me unfortunately what happens is it ends up being like too restrictive in the body with that extra shirt that's attached to the hood and then that hood kind of isn't the best also for me because again my chad chin i just can't get it loose enough and it's always kind of this pressure but the today i realized like when i'm surfing super cold water if i have to deal with that chin pressure hey that's what you got to do to surf cold water like you're surfing freaking freezing water that you would die in otherwise so if that's the one crappy part then you know boohoo me i gotta do what i gotta do so all right guys i think overall it was a great success i'm happy to have used the suit added to the wetsuit quiver the seaside and beyond performed exceptionally well i'm actually liking this board more and more every time i use it and usually takes me months to get used to a board i'm really dialing this board in on the sixth seventh eighth session so i'm really stoked on that because you know it's a thousand dollar board you want to like it so the seven foot i think is perfect for me and i don't wish it was bigger or smaller i think it's like the three little bears or the three blind mice whoever they are one of them was stoked that's me so all right guys i think that's it for this hero's journey till next time peace